Hi. How does an engineer calculate a structure like this? Or a foundation like that? How does he know what reinforcement to take? How do they know what dimensions to take and what materials to choose? And how much safety is there in the construction? I will show you how I make structural design piece by piece on this channel. Each video will show a specific element and will show how the calculation works. From the dimensions, to the loads, to the internal forces and the final design. This here is only the beginning, but with time we will have a comprehensive library of static elements from which you can choose the element you need for your specific structural design, for your construction. And with your support the library will grow fast and consistently. I got a seven year education in construction and I've got a graduate civil engineering degree. I have worked as a structural engineer for over 30 years now and my motivation always was to put the following three things together in my work. First is the customer. He pays the bills. He wants the construction of his needs and he wants it as economically as possible. Second thing is the construction site. You can design the greatest construction. If it can't be implemented on site, it's worthless. Third thing is the, the codes and the regulations. Of course, you have to follow the local regulations and, and laws. But remember, an engineer is educated for and is meant to think by himself to find the proper solution for his, for his specific problem. So do not uh, rely on, on, uh, on rules and, and, and codes only. Think by yourself. I run my own engineering company in Switzerland. What my team and I do is design and calculation of structural constructions. The most common construction in this country is a massive construction. That's reinforced concrete and masonry. We use it for residential buildings and commercial buildings. Usually it's the most economic way to construct and to build in this country. For, for industrial constructions like uh, production halls, we also use steel structures or timber constructions. We provide the documents for the executing company on site, like the builder. These are the plans for our formwork, for reinforcement and also the belonging um, order lists. So we do not build the constructions ourselves. We just do the planning and the design and the, uh, and the supervision on site. For that, we, we work in a team with the sanitary, with the airing, with the um, heating engineers, and last but not least, with the architect, of course. Right now, we have about 30 construction sites uh, running, and another about 40 sites which are in the planning phase. With the supervision task, we are on construction site almost every day or sometimes a couple of times every day. That's why I can provide actual photos on Instagram every day. Of course, when it comes to complex uh, statical systems or when you have uh, difficult soil circumstances, we will always need um, an educated structural engineer to do the design. But many questions and uh, comments on my Instagram account encouraged me to launch this channel. And this channel shall help you to understand how structural design works when you encounter it on construction site. I want to share my experience with you. So when you like this video and you're eager to learn more, hit the like button, subscribe and follow for more. For daily construction site picks 
and stories, follow me on Instagram. See you soon. Cheers.